Candy has been so much sweeter this year. At the top of the table, and they'll take on the Colombo Stars in match 16. Coming to you live from the R. Primadasa International Cricket Stadium here in Colombo. At the toss, Angelo Matthews called right and elected to bat first. And going into this uh, match 16 with an unchanged 11. Of course, a great win in their last game, coming off two wins in a row. A team that is finding form and will be a real contender for the crown jewel of T20 cricket here in Sri Lanka. Roshan Abhisinga and Pervez Maruf alongside me. Roshan, did you expect so many changes to this Falcons 11 today? I'm just wondering whether there has been any niggles. Uh, certainly, Patum Nisanka not been there. Minot Banuka coming into the side. And uh, there's also Oshane Thomas. He's there. And, uh, well, unless they're very, very confident about the bench strength, it's still a pretty decent side. As far as Minut Banuka is concerned, he's already played uh, T20 cricket for Sri Lanka. And uh, to hold him well for the uh, latter part of the tournament, I think Candy Falcons have done a the sensible thing by resting him. As far as Patum Nisanka is concerned, I'm not too sure. Followed that with 58 against the Gold Gladiators, but beyond those two matches, he's produced scores of 0, 2 and 0. Dinesh Chandamal, on the other hand, he is uh, relishing the opportunity to open batting last year. Mr. Rodana to face with early on. Here we go, first ball of match number 16. And there is that swing away from the left hand, a little right smile. Bowled him! Once again, a similar sight from the Roshan Dikwela, expecting that swing away from him. A beauty. Dikwela's nightmare form in this LPL continues. What a chaffer. Gone for duck, Colombo, who's in their first wicket. Beautiful shot by uh, Tarika Salanka. A man in form. This is the difference. The feet movement, the head position, leading towards the ball. Thumped down the ground. Dinesh Chandimal, he's batting like a man possessed. Take a look at this. Look at the intent. He's coming down the pitch, looking to take him on. Just reduce the movement, get close. And then he goes on with the shot. Waited and waited well before it was swatted back past the bowler. I think with the left hand, it will the other way around. Beautiful shot by Tarika Salanka. That was short. Not a good start by Fabrinal. And one thing you can't do against top quality players. Catch it, catch it, That's a oh, in fact, it's taken at square leg. For a moment, it looked a boundary. Not giving the timing, as you said, Roshan, and the placement. The option was right, it was quietly, he was trying to go over coming to Mendes. Charit Pasalanka, who's gone for 12. Kalambo, 34 for 2. Third ball, this time lucky. Improvisation, and square leg was up. Previously, Charit Asalanka was considered one of the better keepers. Oh, one handed. Najibullah Zadran. The previous delivery, they didn't take a single. Now, if you'd taken that, Chandimal would still be there. He was anticipating for the ball to come towards him. Not middling the ball on that occasion, Chandimal, which has been the hallmark of his batting. But how well he timed the jump. Excellent take. He has to go, Dinesh Chandimal. Doesn't trouble the scorer too much today. He's gone for 20. It's 43 for 3. up in the air, opportunity, it's two and two for Najibullah Zadran. Yeah, 
just an over, couple of overs, correct, a couple of balls remaining in the over, which would mean the end of the power play. They're trying to play freely, but not finding the timing. Parnavitana is the man walking back for four. It's 44 for four. Thomas. Outside edge and gone. Bit of extra bounce. Ravi Bupara too close to play the cut shot. Which really surprised Ravi Bupara. He bangs the ball into the surface. Balls with Wim and Wigger. Bupara for one, 44 for five. Down to third man. He's gone first ball. Can you believe it? With an offer, Howell sees it, he throws his hands, but this is all about the catch. Jamindu Vikramasinghe charged it to perfection, diving forward. They didn't go too high in the sky, it was flat and hard. So never easy. It's never easy making the walk back after a first ball duck either. 44 for 6. In the end, gone! It's three wickets in the over. The Caribbean connection. Canty, a Falcons on fire, and this man is ablaze. Or Shane Thomas is walking back. He's the third victim of that over. It's 46 for seven. The two movements, they have to synchronize. They're asking for a catch. That was definitely too close to try and play that shot. Now they're interested. They're thinking about it. They're still thinking about it. Yes, he's decided. I saw Minut Bani yeah, just swing yeah. towards the captain, maybe LBW as well. Clear gap between uh, ball and the bat. Right, that, that was pretty straightforward. Fortunately so, in really good batting conditions. Angela Matthews at the toss, that's nicely played around the corner. Said that he was pretty sure that there wouldn't be any due. gets it behind point that's what extra pace does edged taken wicket number two for Udana outside edge just there good catch by the wicket keeper as well he's gone for 15 85 for eight yep that's four that's poor bowling because third man's in the circle Too good. Matthews might be limping, but he's not restricted in his stroke play. Fighting a lone battle, the Colombo captain. Where the ball is coming. He was ready for it. High elbow, just timing the ball that well to get a six. Face off, beats the wicket keeper, will be four again. So three consecutive boundaries. Ball him, ball him. Chamika Karna Ratna gets a third. The slower ball. Playing from the trees, leaving a huge gap. It's one or two for nine. Oh, Matthews has chipped that in there, but it's going to be safe. Bandara wants everything. 19 ball, 105 for nine. Matthews. Tonks it, mid-off is underneath it, Fabian Allen takes a catch, that's a four-wicket haul for Charmika Karna Ratna. The Colombo Stars have been bowled out. Angelo Matthews goes for 41, it's just working so, so well for them. Can they do anything wrong? No, at the moment. The Candy Falcons, good job in the field, this is what they require. 
to get another two points and break away from the others. 107 of 20 overs. Banuka in the side for Patum Nisanka, who is nursing a little niggle to try and defend this goal. It's more like the Candy Falcons going after rather low 106 all out. Niro Shandikwala, the acting captain. Angelo Matthews not on the field. Here is the first ball. Four balls, a wide full toss, which uh, Mirod Banuka did extremely well to get bat on ball. Suranga Lakmal. Gets it down to third man. Oh, that's a good catch. That's a very good catch. Short and wide. Nice down, so hard and so quick. The fast bowler. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Had a sleep, but had the presence of mind to the dressing room for six. Candy, seven for one. Nicely driven. That's four. That was pitched up. Oh, that'll be leg flies. Down the leg side, the line is wrong and he's got a bit of shape on it, so it's got to start further outside the off stump. Gone high in there. I doubt whether the fielder will get underneath it. In fact, how? It's gone over the boundary for six. Oh, that's well hit. That's very well hit. Short delivery. Gets an edge. It's a top edge. It's gone all the way. Oh, he's off the air. He's in the air. Look at, look at shot. This is lofted. And it's gone the distance. Team mentor Sanjay Jayasurya is enjoying this onslaught. And we've seen him play this shot several times. In the LPL, gives himself a bit of room, comes down the wicket. He was looking to play this shot when he eventually played the ramp because it was then bolt short. This is coming to bend. It's lovely use of the feet. He's not letting any bowler settle down. That's a good effort. Short and wide. Four to end the over. Delicate little touch. 54 for one after six. These are the top run scorers in the Lanka Premier League. Abhishek Fernando and Andre Fletcher, the only two batters over 200. Sadhira Samarabhik, Kamapathum Nisanka, Chandimal. Closing in on that mark. That's gone down to third man. Great effort, but cannot stop it. The runs are flowing, and it's flying off the bats of the Candy Falcon batters. Ballers for two, they should be able to come back and come back comfortably. He's had to rush. Andre Fletcher. And the umpire is going to go up to the TV umpire and have a closer look. Confirmation will come up that that is not out. It's the end of the 11th, 84 for one. First day, of course, of matches in Colombo here at the R. Primadasa. Outside edge. No need for third match to try and chase that. It makes its way very quickly to the boundary. Well, the hundreds up. They're now just seven runs away. Struck away through the offside. It's not going to get to the boundary. But they will come back for two. That's 50 up for coming to Mendes. Brilliant up. Young man came up with a vision, with a mission. On the first ball, where I got that cover drive through. Mid off and extra cover off Kasun Radita. He was in fine form. It's good to see a young Sri Lankan playing as a finisher. 
is what I like to see. When you have a start, make sure you finish off. This last ball of the 16th over. Fletcher on strike. Gets it fine, and that's probably going to run into the boundary. And it does. It is a comprehensive performance once again from the Candy Falcons. Lost the toss, they were asked to bowl first. And dismissed the opposition pretty cheaply. Still needed to come out and get the runs, and they've done that with a minimum of ease. Well led once again by Fletcher. Kamundu getting to his second LPL half century. Their partnership 101 in just 90 balls. More than enough to get the Candy Falcons over the line and four points clear at the top of the table. And yeah, the high riding Falcons doing ease in the end. There's some changes with the 11. Doesn't matter, the new players coming in. Feels like they've been performing for a while as well. In the end, the stars are blown away in their hometown. This is how it ended under Fletcher, just helping it across. On the leg side by Ravi Bafara and Charita Salanka at Deep Squalic had no chance. Magnificent effort for the entire Candy Falcons outfit to win this game with nine wickets in hand. Now they'll go away and try and uh, get as much rest as they can overnight. They'll be back again tomorrow to be turning out, but uh, it's hats off to both of those two gentlemen. Outstanding performance, sensible batting. Saranga will be extremely pleased. Express the fact that even though they had won a lot of games batting first and setting totals, he was confident that his team would be able to come out and chase down whatever was on the board, and that's exactly what they did. Partnership of 101, getting uh, the Falcons to a nine wicket victory over the Colombo Stars. Colombo Stars bowling, not much to speak of. Rajika started really well. Lakmal picked up the only wicket in these innings. The rest of the bowlers is going through the motion. In the end, Falcons making it lose so easy in scoring those runs. Match summary so far. Stars winning the toss, batting first, 106 all out. Captain Matthews scoring the bulk of the runs with 41. With bowling, Chami Karnaratna, Oshen Thomas, four and three wickets respectively. In reply, Falcons scoring with ease, end of 16th over, with Kamido Mendes on 51 not out, and Andre Fletcher, 44 of 47 in the end, winning by nine wickets. All right, a look at the points table then. And uh, the Falcons are in a very comfortable position. Top of the table, 12 points from their six victories. The Jaffna Kings will be turning out tomorrow afternoon, eight from their six. The Gladiators and the Columbus Stars, four and six respectively. Dimbula Aura got their first point this afternoon. And if they want to keep their hopes alive, they need to make sure they win their remaining two matches and hope for other upsets in other matches. But that's how we stand at the moment. Candy Falcons, top of the table and comfortable.